Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a sold-out show here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz and Ringside. Man, you couldn't fit another fan in here with a crowbar, I'm telling you. There's a whole lot of cheese heads in the house tonight. It sure is. Green Bay knows that they're about to see the greatest superstars in all of sports entertainment. I can't wait to get started. You feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. These superstars are on fire tonight. They sure are, and I don't think they're going to be put out anytime soon. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're gonna get on the bad side of at least one superstar. In a textbook reversal. Can he follow up? It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were gonna wind up against each other. There's the reversal call. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight champ in like a year. Oh, no. Great reversal. Man, I can't tell you how impressed I am with what I've seen here tonight so far. How could you not be impressed, Taz? These are some of the greatest superstars in the world doing what they do best. Hey, slow down, girl pants. I went into this expecting a good match. I'm just saying it's even better than I thought it would be. I know exactly what you mean. These superstars certainly are pulling out. Oh, he anticipated that move perfectly. You know, Cole, I was a you. Watch it. He reversed it. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's cause you ain't gonna see athletes like this anywhere else. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do best. He saw that one coming. These superstars are clearly giving it their all tonight. Not a surprise there at all, Cole. I mean, tell me the last time that you saw a WWE superstar only go halfway. I don't think I ever have, Taz. Everyone on the roster gives 110%. Nice quick counter. Man, this match is so good. It's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Cole. Yeah, thanks a lot, Taz. You know, you're not always my number one choice for a broadcast partner, either. You know what you should do, girl pants? You should team up with Jerry Lawler. Then it could be... That was a textbook reversal. <laughs> Folks will be staying with this match to the end with no commercial interruptions. Good thing, too, Cole, because I don't think we'd ever hear the end of it if we cut away here. You're probably right, Taz. I know I wouldn't want to miss a second of this action. Wow, great reversal. Night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. That's a good thing, Cole. I don't ever want to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match, that's for sure. We've seen this before. He'll do whatever it takes to win and take every advantage he can. Hey, no, that's not gonna make you popular, but you gotta do whatever it takes to win. And there's the counter, Cole. Yeah. 
Man, look at these superstars. You can't ask for a better example of what makes SmackDown so great. You sure can't. SmackDown's got the greatest superstars in the greatest matches for the greatest fans in all of sports entertainment. He dodged that bullet. I kind of wonder if Trip, the adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, Cole, you know what? Try to restrain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this bad boy right down the middle. I don't think the fans like that one too much. Yeah, I'm sure this breaks this guy's heart. It should. These fans are the lifeblood of WWE, and he doesn't give a damn what they think. And there's the reversal. I've been looking forward to this match all night long, oh. Cole. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you have that kind of hype, it's really tough to live up to the expectations. But these superstars ain't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. Man, his opponent looked like a punk with that counter. Man, you talk about superstars and we ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped in between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. Cole, I swear. I'm going to replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Kalita. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. Chris Benoit's a great... What a reversal! Look at these superstars go. It's obvious they've done their homework on each other. That's for sure. This match might have been over by now if they hadn't. 90% of a match is in the preparation, Cole. You gotta come ready for the battle. This could be a finishing move right here. He slipped out of that one. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. These superstars have proven time and again that they're willing and able to go the distance. Well, you don't go too far in this business if you're not, Cole. That's for sure, partner. There's always someone right behind you, ready to overtake you if you can't keep up. Nice reversal. Look at these superstars, Taz. This can't go on much longer. He was one step ahead on that one. I wonder if we're going to see anything this good on Raw next Monday, Cole. Come on, Taz. I think we both know the answer to that one. What a counter that was. What an incredible match we've seen so far. And it ain't over yet, Cole. It sure isn't. I think these superstars could keep going for quite a while longer.
This one's going to keep on going until someone can't go anymore. And considering the conditioning of these athletes, Ooh. that could be quite a while from now. Seems like things have quieted down a little bit here, Cole. I think this may just be the calm before the storm, Taz. That superstar is dangerously close to being buried alive. These fans just can't get... I don't even know how he can still stand after taking so much physical abuse. I don't think this is going to last much longer. It's crazy to think we actually get paid to do a job like this. There's thousands of people out there who would do this for free. Really? Maybe I should look into that. I could get a better broadcast partner and save the company some money at the same time. Keep it up, Cole. Keep it up. And you're gonna find out how tough this job really is when your jaw gets wide shut. I gotta tell you, I didn't expect these guys to go off on each other the way they have tonight. This has been brutal this match so far. Well, Taz, it's not ballet, you know. Oh, really, Cole? Gee, oh. here I was wondering what happened to the pointy-toed shoes and the frilly little skirts. You know what? Maybe I should go check your closet. The conditions are right for a finishing move. I don't know how much longer this can go, Taz. These superstars are starting to look like they're running out of fumes. This one could still go either way, Cole. It sure could. It's not over oh. until the referee calls for the bell. Eddie Guerrero is one of my favorite superstars on the SmackDown roster, and I think these fans agree with me. It seems like being a crowd pleaser is another Guerrero family. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. It's not easy maintaining this type of intensity week after week after week, Cole. Trust me. I don't doubt it, Taz. The WWE superstars don't get an offseason. They compete every week until they're not physically capable of continuing. I don't think this is just a match anymore, Cole. This is getting personal. Well, what do you expect? They've been beating the hell out of each other all match. Yeah, but it's more than that, Paul. I don't think they would look at each other the same way after this one. There are limits to the amount of punishment that a human body can absorb. And if you want proof of that, just take a look at these superstars. He's got his opponent in the casket. This could be over right here. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar's like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think they're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings no matter how beaten up they get. What's happened to Eddie Guerrero, Cole? I mean, this guy used to be the WWE champion, and now look. What are you talking about, Taz? Eddie continues to compete at a level most superstars can only dream of. The Ooh. WWE superstars are all superb athletes, but they're also human beings, and there's only so much punishment a human body can take. Man, Cole, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner, but it's got to end sooner or later. 
Well, whichever way it goes, no one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything they got. So, Cole, you got any predictions? Uh, you know who you think's gonna Ooh. win this one? No way. I've seen you embarrass yourself with enough bad guesses that I'm not going to risk doing the same. Well, I think this one's pretty much a foregone conclusion. Not too tough to figure out who's gonna win this one. You know, this wouldn't be the first time you've made a prediction that didn't pan out. That's pretty funny. You know what I predict? You keep up with your mouth, you're gonna have a permanent limp. That's not going to improve your odds of surviving this match. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man, this one's just turned into a fight. You're and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. i got to admit, it kind of took me by... He's got his opponent in the casket. This match and a career could end right here. Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, Trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off these superstars, Taz. I don't think anything could be more obvious. Spoken like a guy who's never been in there, Cole. Trust me, when it comes down to you or them, it's a whole different level of intensity. I'll have to take your word for it, Taz. I honestly can't imagine a more electric atmosphere than the one in this arena right now. A finishing move right here. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars, and even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. No joke, Paul. These guys know what they're doing, hence the word trained professional. Everything to these competitors tonight. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You got any others like, uh, I don't know, nobody wants to lose? Or uh, how about this one? The superstar who beats their opponent will be the winner. Hmm. How about Taz should spend more time calling the match and less time cutting down his broadcast partner? I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not gonna hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Please, Cole, watch your language, will you? It's a family show. I said exasperate, not, oh, never mind. seen some pretty good back and forth action here but you don't see too many matches end that way no you don't and i think we'll see one superstar dominate the match before it's over you never know what to expect from these superstars cole i mean this could be over in 60 seconds or 60 minutes well it wouldn't break my heart if they went for an hour task i'm really enjoying this match How much longer are these superstars going to be able to keep it up? Your guess is as good as mine, Taz. They're certainly not going easy on each other, that's for sure. These superstars are pounding the heck out of each other. How much longer can they keep this up? I don't know, Taz, but you can bet that it's going to get a lot worse before it's over. I 
might be in for a finisher here, Cole. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. Hey, you know what, Cole? If you're gonna get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you gotta do whatever it takes. This ain't looking good. He might bury his opponent alive right here. This ain't about winning or losing anymore, Cole. This has become real personal. Well, with the way they've been beating the hell out of each other, I'm not surprised. You know, instead of showboating to the fans, maybe you should really keep your head to this match. Come on, Taz. You're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd and use that energy to win the match. Looks like they might be taking this match down a notch here, Cole. The pace of the match may have slowed, but the intensity of these superstars certainly hasn't. You can say that again. Waiting for your opponent to make a move or give an opening can be just as intense as putting him through a table. And whether or not you have that kind of patience often means the difference between winning and losing a match. This capacity crowd is certainly getting its money's worth here tonight. And it's a good thing too, Cole. If they're not buying tickets, we're not getting paychecks. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about selling tickets the next time we come back here. Not after a match like this. Boy, I'll tell you, this is not the way I thought this match was going to go at all. And that's what makes the WWE so exciting. The unpredictability of the superstars. You never quite know exactly what you're going to see. Ooh. We're definitely seeing the toll this very physical matchup has taken on the participants. I've got to believe this one won't last much longer. It's obvious these superstars have studied each other real carefully, Cole. No question about that, Taz. You won't last long against an opponent you haven't done your homework on. This Ooh. can't go much longer, Taz. Look at the physical condition of these superstars. I can't remember the last time I seen a crowd so pumped up. I know what you mean, partner. These superstars have really brought the fans to life here tonight. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match, when you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, and I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturbed you. I think they're slowing their pace down a little bit, Cole, and that's a good way to refocus your energy, but you also give your opponent time to recover. That's not good. It certainly isn't, but if you try to rush things, you could wind up making a critical mistake that could cost. He's put his opponent in the casket. Could this be it? This has been a great match so far. I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're gonna be snippy, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Well, the name of the game is to beat your opponent down until they can't do a thing about it. And that's exactly what's happening here.
These superstars certainly aren't going easy on each other tonight. They sure are giving the fans their money's worth. No doubt, Cole. These WWE superstars put their bodies on the line night after night. And the fans sell out these arenas night after night, Taz. Sounds like a pretty fair trade to me. Oh. These superstars have been pounding the hell out of each other, and now we're starting to see the effects of that. Tell you, Cole, this is what the WWE is all about. You're absolutely right, Taz. The greatest athletes in the world competing on the grandest stage of them all. I think this proves without a doubt why SmackDown's the dominant brand in sports entertainment. I can't help but agree, partner. You won't see action like this on Raw. Yeah, and even if you did, you'd have to listen to a couple of yahoos jabbering out about puppies and, and government mules and uh, scolded dogs. I, I tell you, it's like a damn zoo over there. Jeez, what a match. I got no idea what these superstars are going to do next. That makes two of us, partner. And I think that's one of the things that makes it so exciting. Looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, either. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that can have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, Cole, let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this, and you can cover what it's like to whiten your teeth. Deal? These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is going to have their hand oh. raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame, because like you said, this has been a great match so far. Well, what do you want, Cole? You want to say that everyone wins so nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. You know, the key to winning a match like this is to build some momentum. And you're not going to see a match won with just one or two moves. No, but one or two big moves at a crucial point could change the direction of it completely. You're not going to see action like this anywhere except SmackDown, Cole. You'll get no argument from me, Taz. SmackDown is the... My God, he might bury his opponent alive right here! Let me tell you, Cole, I spoke to these superstars before the match, and I ain't never seen competitors more fired up and ready to get it on. Judging from how this match has gone so far, Taz, I have no trouble believing that whatsoever. Ooh. See, now, this is how you win a match, Cole. You work over your opponent until they can't fight back. Man, I don't envy that ref. You know, the last place I'd want to be is between these superstars. Say that again. Talk about hazardous to your health. Into the casket. This is not the best match if you're kind of a, a little claustrophobic. I'll tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys. But these superstars are really raising the bar here tonight. They sure are, Taz. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game, Cole, intensity. Oh. You gotta stay on your opponent until one of you can't go anymore. I think these superstars are well aware of that, Taz. I think that's exactly what they've got in mind. Here it is, Taz. He's building up a head of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. I'll tell you what, if his opponent's got a brain in his head, he'll get the heck out of there. I think I've got a pretty good idea. 
idea who's gonna win this match, Cole. I wouldn't be so sure, Taz. If there's one thing we've seen, it's that anything can happen here in the WWE. The pride in the hearts of these competitors might be the only thing that's keeping them going. And pride's a powerful emotion. But when you just plain run out of gas, there's nothing in the world that can keep you going. Well, it doesn't look like they're running on empty quite yet, but you never know when that could change. I don't think there's going to be anything left of these superstars by the end of this match. You're probably right, Taz. They're so focused on a victory that they don't care what they have to put themselves through to get it. This is one hell of a performance by some amazing superstars, Cole. What did you expect, Taz? This is SmackDown, after all, the number one brand in sports entertainment. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulled for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole, I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Taz, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing, but cheating to steal a victory and enhance your own career is something completely different. She moved right here. This is not just a match anymore, Cole. These superstars have got a legitimate beef with each other. They do indeed. Ooh. There's a lot of bad blood here for sure. And if this keeps up much longer, that bad blood's gonna wind up all over the place. The most frustrating thing in the world is when you want to keep fighting, but you know you ain't got nothing left. You look at any other sport in the world, and you won't find a single athlete that can compare with a WWE superstar. And there's a reason for that, Taz. There are no off-seasons here in the WWE. If you're a superstar, you're performing every week of the year. And we're not... Oh, my! That's going to do some serious damage if someone doesn't stop this. And who in their right mind would try to do that? You won't find better athletes than the WWE superstars, but they've got their limits. Limits which may have been reached here tonight. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Don't bother, Cole. I don't think you're going to be able to. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far, with no signs of stopping anytime soon. No doubt from what we're seeing here, these WWE fans are getting their money's worth. If they don't yet, I'm sure they will by the end of the match, Taz. How much can these superstars possibly have left? They got as much left as it takes, Cole. Trust me, you get in that ring and you find out you got reserves you never knew you had. I can imagine. Nothing pushes you to the limit quite like a WWE match. You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Whoa, that's your territory, partner, not mine. I'm perfectly happy staying right where I am. I don't think this is gonna last much longer, Cole. Talk about running on empty.
looks to me as this can go down in the books as an instant classic. I think just about every match has that potential, Taz. This is the WWE after all. I think we know which way this one's gonna go, Cole. Actually, Taz, Ooh. from my perspective, I think it could go either way. And what perspective would that be exactly? The perspective of somebody who has a neck that resembles a stack of dimes? Conditioning's a huge factor in any match. If you can't go to distance, there ain't no way. We've got a superstar in a casket in a match that could be over very quickly. Man, there's not an ounce of quit in these superstars. There certainly isn't. They're in this one to the bitter end. Someone's on the way to taking a little dirt nap, Cole. Can you believe this match so far, Cole? I really can't, Taz. This isn't anything like what I expected from these competitors. Yeah, I gotta admit, they're surprising the hell out of me here, too. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes these superstars so exciting to watch. You know, you can't take a beating like this and expect to win the match, Cole. I don't think this is gonna last much longer. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. I'm sure they have it, Cole. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. As soon as you let the slightest doubt into your mind, you can forget about it. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. Man, I almost feel bad for JR and King, Cole. When's the last time you think they saw a match this good? I couldn't tell you, Taz. I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. Me neither. Because I guess that just makes sense. I mean, after all, SmackDown is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. And that's one of the few things we completely agree on, partner. It doesn't get any bigger or better than SmackDown. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. Well, what you got to realize, to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out, but now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I, Taz, and I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. And that's why you can't take your eyes off the action for one second. You never know when something huge is going to go down. You know, I don't think you can keep going for much longer after taking that much punishment. I gotta say, Cole, when I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blowing me away right here. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a tremendous matchup, and I haven't been disappointed. Well, I wouldn't say I'm not disappointed, but I'll talk about getting stuck with you as a broadcast partner. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. Look at 
many superstars, Cole. I mean, they're not even contemplating the fact that they might lose here tonight. They've sacrificed so much to get here, Taz. I don't think they can allow that thought to enter their heads. Ooh. A physical match like this will take its toll. And I think that's exactly what we're seeing here. I'll tell you, as long as these superstars have got anything left in the tank, they'll just keep going. They certainly don't look like they're going to give anything less than 100% here tonight. These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're gonna win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. Ooh. These superstars have inflicted so much damage on each other and I'm getting exhausted just watching them. Ooh. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. You know, I don't care how bad you want to win the match. The fact of the matter is the human body is only capable of so much. This has been a real rocket bust of a match so far, Cole. It has indeed, but I think this crowd would like to see these superstars pick up the pace a little bit. What are you talking about? This is some classic old school wrestling here. Picking your spots and waiting for your opportunities. Ooh. How much more abuse can a human being take? If this match doesn't end soon, I think we might have a serious injury on our hands. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line, Cole. If you're not doing everything you can to win, then you're in the wrong game. You can't compete in a physical match like this and not wind up feeling the effects. And that's what we're starting to see right here. If you ever wanted just how much punishment a human body could take, I think you're gonna get an answer tonight. You might be right, Taz. It doesn't look like these superstars are going to go easy on each other. That's not what they're getting paid for, Cole. And besides, they got too much pride to give less than 100% in there. There you go, Cole. Into the casket. This is completely off the hook, Cole. We were expecting a solid match from these superstars, but this is even better than I'd hoped. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Cole? These are WWE superstars for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. There sure ain't, Cole. I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in. He's got his opponent in the casket, and the match almost won. When you see this level of competition, Cole, there is no doubt that SmackDown's just head and shoulders better than Raw. I couldn't agree more, Taz. Raw has some incredible superstars, Ooh. no question about it. But they just can't compete with SmackDown's finest. 
Come on, Cole. I know you're just trying to be diplomatic, but you can't seriously sit there and say that there's anyone on the Raw roster you'd want to have here on SmackDown. No, I'm 100% serious, Taz. Can you imagine having Triple H or Batista or Chris Jericho on Friday nights? That could take SmackDown to the next Ooh. level. These superstars are putting on a clinic in there. Yeah, and not a health clinic. I don't think they'll be the same after this one. Ooh. Man, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears shed in that ring over the years. And if these superstars have their way, you gotta do whatever it takes to get the hell out of that casket pronto. I'll tell you, anyone who thinks this business is a piece of cake, they should get in the ring with these superstars. I don't think anyone would last too long against them. These are trained WWE professionals. Looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit, Cole. This is a great match, and the fans are way into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE oh. fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're gonna be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Ooh. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. We've seen an excellent match so far, and it's not over yet. Not by a long shot, Cole. And that's a good thing. I don't think we could ever get sick of watching these superstars go at it. Me neither, partner. This one's got rematch written all over it. These superstars are beating the living hell out of each other, and these fans are eating it up. It's what they came to see, Taz, and these superstars are making sure they don't go home disappointed. You know, Cole, the more I watch this match, the more I'm thinking that there's some legitimate personal issues here between these superstars. You might be right, Taz. After all, they spent the better part of the match beating the hell out of each other. It's hard not to take something like that personally. These superstars are showing some great intensity here tonight, and that's what the WWE fans came to see. That's for sure, Taz. And the number one rule here on SmackDown is to send the fans home happy. You know, I know I say this a lot, Cole, but this is not ballet. You step between those ropes, you better be prepared to take some punishment and to dish some out as well. I don't think I've ever seen a superstar win a match by being a tackling dummy. And I think these superstars are gonna keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford to either. I'd love to know where you're coming up with this stuff, Cole. Because it's sure not for personal experience, I know that.
Into the casket you go! like a stuck pig. Oh. I can't tell if that's a cut or a broken nose, but either way, the referee might need to stop this fight. The ref's not gonna stop the match, Cole. It's just a little blood. Come on, oh. be a man, will you? Come next.
Oh, man, here it comes. And that might be the end of the match right there. I have a feeling he's going to pull this out, folks. He wasn't planning on winding up in that casket tonight, but that's exactly what happened. Here's here. your I winner. Don't even consider the fact that you might wind up Chris buried alive. And oh. down that ramp for the match. You can't. Plain and simple. You don't go into a match like this one thinking you might lose. But there you go.